ladies and gentlemen, and I don't let anyone tell you we ain't going to get some ladies in a sea of upturned faces, only they're wearing pants. Well, maybe I don't know a thing. Maybe I fell out of a cradle when I was a kid, and I've been working, and I've been right, uh, right since. You can tell. Drip down, cockeye. Who's paying? Who's paying you to for the? Who's paying you for those remarks, buddy? Moscow gold. Well, maybe I've got a glass eye, but I, co but it come from working in a factory at the age of eleven. They hooked it out because they didn't have a shield on the works. But I wear it like a medal because it tells the world where I belong, deep down in the working class. We have we had delegates in the union there, all kinds of secretaries and treasurers, walking delegates, but not with blisters on their feet. Oh no, on their fat little asses, sitting on the cushions and raking in a mazuma. Sit down, boys. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that talk that about unions in general. I know it ain't true here. Why? No. Our officers, our officers all in all aces. Why? I've seen I've seen our own secretary, Fat, walk out of here with his way and to step on the cockroach. No boys, don't think. You're out of order! Am I out of order? No, no, speak, go on. Yes, our officers are all, is all aces, but I remember here, and no experience in Philly either. Today, I couldn't wear my union button. The damn the scene happened. When I took the, when I take the old coat off the wall, I'll, I see she's smoking. I'm on a Sauvignon in the old union bust of uh, button, is it on fire? Yep. The old celluloid was making the most god awful stink. The landlady come up and give me hell. You know what happened? That old union button just blushed itself to death. 